Greetings, final community. And as always, I hope you're all doing well. Uh, it's been a couple of three, four weeks, two, I don't know how many weeks since my last video. Um, there's been kind of a lot going on, um, which has prevented me from making a new video. Um, you know, we're living in pandemic times, right? We are. Um, but if you're a long time viewer of my videos, meaning you've watched my videos for a number of years now, which is kind of odd to say, uh, you'll have known that I've talked about my dogs a lot and about a year and a half, two years ago, we lost, um, one of our dogs, uh, which I talked about then. And then in between my last video and now we lost our other dog. So we are sans dogs. So in between that video and this video, like I said, as I feel on this now, uh, it's been kind of dealing with that and it's been, um, a little bit more important than dealing with vinyl videos or filming vinyl videos, although you heartless bastards might disagree. But uh, it's really odd when you lose an animal, isn't it? That, that you love as one of your family members and how quiet it is in the house and it's just really um, a lot of adjustment going on. So um, there's been that going on. I always like to give you a little slice of life, whether you want it or not, a big slice of, here, here have a slice of my life. Anyways, um, yeah, and dealing with this fuckered world that we live in with COVID and work has been an absolutely, absolutely crazy. Dealing with the unknown of what's going on and uh, it's just this never ending lockdown. So that's what's going on. I'm sure it's going on with you as well. So I hope you're all doing well. Um, I'm not sure if you can see the steam coming off this one, possibly. I'm going to burn my the roof of my mouth for you. But, the viewer. That was hot. All right. Um, my last video left off. Um, there had been a span of months before I had filmed that video. You guys all know the story, and I had a backlog of uh, thrift store vinyl to show you and other stuff, um, which I'm going to pick up with. And I got new editions, and I got a little bit of new vinyl to show you, which is kind of cool. And I got to thank someone named Tim Phillips coming up for um, something that he sent me. It's just, it's been crazy with vinyl, but I have not had time to show you. I've talked about this before and I'm gonna talk about it again really quickly, is when you go to thrift stores, um, don't see, don't just hone in on the vinyl and stereo equipment. There is great opportunity for other things for your stereo system other than vinyl or maybe new vintage pieces you might find at thrift stores. Um, I've talked about this before, but thrift stores are a great place to find high quality cables for your stereo system. Um, cables are super expensive and I'm not stupid enough, or I'm not stupid enough because I don't want to insult anyone who's done this, but I, I don't have the means to pay for thousands of dollars for stereo cable, but a good cable will make a lot of difference. So I've talked about this before, but in the, since my last video, this was new in the package. Uh, the price on it, I believe, was $79.99. Someone bought it. And a lot of people are ditching their stereos, their home theater systems, because they have some things like sound bars and they got their Netflix and 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 they're ditching all these all these peripheral things for your stereo. So I'm finding brand new in the box. And by the way, if you see a red, white, and yellow and you don't need the yellow because it's video, just tear it off like I do. You don't need it. Put it in the box for maybe later use. But like... $70, $80 cables for, this was $5.99. And I found other sets of just beautiful, I think these are a set of Ultralinks, which aren't the best, but they're not the worst. Um, good quality um, cables and more cables. So, and I need them because I'm, I'm adding more pieces to my stereos, but just have a look around thrift stores because you will never know what you'll find. And I, I trust you, a good set of RCA cables for your stereo will make a massive difference. Um, I don't have the hearing to notice the difference between a high quality, let's say $80 core or, uh, by the way, if, and, if, and I would never buy these brand new since I know to look at thrift stores. So I would never spend $70, $80 on cables, but, um, I could never tell the difference between these and, and thousand dollar cables. I just don't have that dog hearing that one might need, but like I said, and also, what else did I find? You got this, this little things. A Dan Electro, a uh, Honey Tone, little mini amp for my for my guitar. Look at that, a Dan Electro. But you can carry along with you if you got a nine volt. 
It's a little Dan Electromania. Sounds good? Five bucks. So many good things at thrift stores and we're five minutes in, so I'm gonna just tell you, wrap that up by saying, just look around. If you go to a big thrift store, just have a look at the cables, you never know. And if you're dealing with just regular thin RCA cables, buy some. They're, I find them everywhere, but not always at this type of quality, but there you go. All right, enough of my yakking. It's been a long time, so if there's been a long time between videos, I like to yak a little bit, don't I? Because I never yak in my normal videos. Brand new vinyl. Uh, something I've always wanted is the band. You'll notice there's some metal stuff coming up here because that's just the kind of mood I've been in lately. Um, but brand new reissue of the band Forbidden, the Bay Area Thrash Band. This is their first album called uh, Forbidden Evil. And uh, Paul Bostoff from Slayer, uh, later Slayer, played drums in, in Forbidden. So that there's been a brand new reissue of that. Nice inner sleeve. Um, good quality record, too, on vinyl. Or good quality pressing, anyways. So Forbidden, something I've always wanted on vinyl. Um, if you're familiar with the band Seduce from the documentary um, uh, the, the, the Western Decline of Western Civilization Part 2, there's been a couple of local bands in there that they kind of hyper-focused on. Was There was Odin, and then there was um, Seduce, and I think there might have been someone else. But this is their first album, and I, where are they from? Are they from Buffalo or Boston or something? like? I can't remember where they're from. I wish I remembered now. Something tells me Boston. I could be wrong. Someone will correct me. This is their first album. I have an original pressing of their second album, which I think they only made two albums, I think. But uh, it's... I just... I'm a, I'm a big fan of that documentary and the first one that was on punk music that um, uh, I really liked the, the second Seduce album. So I bought this one, and it's a bit different. And what's odd about this one... Or I think they're from Detroit. They're from Detroit because... Third Man Records pressed this pressed this re-release. See, Third Man, Detroit. That's where they're from. I knew I'd remember. The noggin's still there. Um, yeah, um, it's very serviceable. Um, it's not glam and it's not super hard. It's kind of they ride that line in between, which might have been their downfall. They were never hokey enough to be hair metal or glam metal, and they were never hard enough to be uh, kind of like a hard thrash metal band but they were kind of rode that line in between and that might have been their downfall maybe but um yeah nice pressing brand new reissue i bought this yesterday oh this came in the mail yesterday i bought this on amazon if you look on amazon canada there's no reference to this being a picture disc and when i got it in, in the mail yesterday i was royally pissed right off because i don't want picture discs but there's someone who might who might trade me for this one. But this is um, Venom. Uh, I, the picture looks like a regular vinyl. If I know when it was a picture disc, I would never have ordered it. But this is the Seventh Date of Hell live at Hammersmith, which is probably their best known concert, their best recorded concert. And it comes on on picture disc, and it's just I know there's some better picture discs out there. This is by Back in Black or uh, Back on Black vinyl series which are not the best vinyl presses ever it looks fantastic though but when the when it, and it is a well-recorded concert i have the dvd um i had it on a bootleg video when i was younger um i like venom but um on the picture disc the like the bass drum looks sounds like repeated wet farts and it's just fucking muddied and there's no definition like your typical picture disc I don't know why they, other than suckering fans in, I don't know why they would do that. Tim Phillips, I'm talking to you because thank you. Um, I added another Walmart colored vinyl of Metallica, which I kind of teed off on last last video about the people who think um, the Walmart vinyl presses are lesser pressings. They're not. They're the same presses as you can buy at your indie store, just different color. Um, or it's not cool to shop at Walmart, but hey, that that that's your thing to deal with it's not mine because i'm happy to have it so tim phillips um i you know i owe you i've talked to you um thank you for getting me this dire green vinyl for dyer's eve so i think the only one i'm missing that i want is ride the lightning if anyone has a ride the lightning they want to sell me hit me up i'll buy it from you um i don't care i need i just need ride the lightning from the walmart series 
that's it. I don't ask for much. I always offer to pay. I never, I never expect VCLTs. I'll always offer to pay. But for those of you who send them to me, I mean, it, it's almost I'm not worthy. But thank you. Um, and we'll see. A couple more um, new ones, and then we're going to get to the vinyl, um, uh, uh, used thrift store vinyl. Maybe maybe the noggin isn't working today. Um, I got this via some credit at RCP Records in, in my town. Hello, Ty. Um, I don't know why I never owned this before, but this is the music on vinyl pressing of the first Metal Church album, um, which is my favorite next to Blessing in Disguise. But I never had this on vinyl. And some 3D there for you. Very happy to add that. That's not, I'm not going to sit here and pontificate on it. This one, I, fuck, man, I'm going to get roasted for, as always, because it's the people who've never heard this album. Their first two albums were flat out, like I was talking before, just glammy hair metal on the softer side, although their second album had some good moments. But this album, music on vinyl as well as Winger, Pull. Don't judge me. This is not the Winger you know from... Beavis and Butthead, this is not the first album, or In the Heart of the Young, the second album. This is a whole different direction, and it works. And for people who've heard it, who are into this kind of music, they will tell you that it's a great album. It is. Um, I'm, I'm not a massive Winger fan, but I heard this album not that long ago, just kind of by accident, or someone recommended it or something, I can't remember. But I, I streamed it, and I was like like Reb Beach their guitar player who went on to play with Dawkin and and who's currently in White Snake I believe he's just it's dark and it's heavy and he shreds and Kip Winger doesn't sound like an, an, an insipid baby not that he ever did but you know what I mean the, the poster boy it's it's a tough mean dark album and this was coming on the heels of grunge so they really stepped up their game and they made a third album that didn't get a lot of notice because of said grunge movement. I think. Great album, though. Another music on vinyl pressing. My favorite label. We're going to try to fit this all in in 15 minutes or, or less. We probably won't. Uh, I got this at a record store. Sorry, um, this is not a brand new record, but um, someone bought this, opened it, and it looks like they maybe played it once, and then they sold it to a used record store, and I got it for fucking fourteen ninety nine or something like that i don't i have no clue why but i saw it and i almost like died because it's yes i love yes you guys know i like punk i like everything so just chill with me i think that's maybe that's why some people like my channel because it has a lot of everything and yes this was released for record store day and what this is is in germany this is the uh, time and a word album which i believe was their second album uh, in Germany, they did a they did a different mix when it um, was released, and it was only released in Germany. This mix, and it's a I don't want to say drastically drastically different mix, but it's enough to make a uh, an audible difference in the mix. Some things are up, some things are placed around differently. But it's a it's if you're a Yes fan and you've not heard the German mix of it, it's well worth um, a listen and. I didn't even know this came out for Record Store Day in the, a few years ago. That it has the song No Experience Necessary. Um, no Opportunity uh, Needed. Oh, sorry, no, no Opportunity Necessary. No Experience Needed. But just based on that alone, an Astral Traveler. I was, I was thrilled to find that. All right. We're going to go purely into thrift store vinyl now. Uh, I'm not the biggest Frank Zappa fan, but I got a copy of... Um, I'm slowly adding to my Zappa collection, but these are all thrift store vinyl. This is called The Man from Utopia. Zappa. What year is this? 1983 on his own Barking Pumpkin label. Um, I've seen this on... I had this on cassette, actually. Never listened to it, because I bought it as part of a bunch of cassette tapes. Look how Frank, how muscular he's looking. Looks like Kane Roberts. But I haven't heard it yet. I'll get to it. Uh, you'll see that I have a, a backlog of about 50 records I, I need to get to. But uh, I'll, I'll get there. Uh, Frank Zappa. 
What is this one? I need to take the cover off because this one is, uh, the cover on this one's a bit uh, dirty. Flush the Fashion by Alice Cooper, 1980. Look at that one. Look at, look at him. The radical difference for the 80s. Um, this album and, uh, was it Zipper Catches Skin? Or Rips, I don't know. There's a few albums in that area where a lot of people, it's been well talked about. A lot of people don't like that era, but I, I do like this era of Alice Cooper. Um, he did his, he was high and then he kind of came down with some of these albums. He was an alcoholic. Some people thought he made inferior, al inferior albums. I disagree. And then he kind of came back with Constrictor and Raise Your Fist and Yell. And then, of course, Poison. The song Poison, not the band. But anyways, Flush the Fashion by Alice Cooper. Um, that was cool. I think I had it, but now this is an upgrade. Okay, check this out. Um, I always say if you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen me. Um, I, sometimes when I'm at the thrift stores, I take a photo of me at the thrift store with these records. So you guys see that I'm finding these things at the thrift store. I put the time in. But a very first pressing of a Perfect Circles album, 13 Step. And I'm not even a fan of, uh, of Perfect Circle, but it was there in beautiful condition, mixed by Andy Wallace. Oh, maybe I will listen. I'll listen to this. But it's a first pressing worth some buku dollar. That was at a thrift store for $3.99. I got to stop the 3D thing, sorry. But um, I don't think I'll be keeping this one, but... And by the way, as a side note, um, I've heard you speak and um, by very popular demand, I will start selling vinyl on on uh, YouTube. But I will have to figure out uh, shipping t uh, prices for multiples and I'll have to work out the shipping thing so when I sell things, I can say to you, to you in the US, one between this is this, you, and your, you guys in Europe will pay this. I got to figure that out. I got the records. I just got to figure out the shipping and I have tons of boxes and it's coming. Just hang tight. I think this one might be in the, in on there. A first pressing. All right. Uh, Chrome. I'm a massive Chrome fan. Um, I don't remember where I got this from. Was it a thrift store? It might've been a thrift store or was it, or a local ad. Some of these go back from, go back months now. Um, it only cost me five bucks anyways, but it's Chrome's third or fourth album. Chrome, the experimental band. This is on Beggar's Banquets, 1980. Uh, I love this album. I've never had it on vinyl, I don't think. But pay, ten pay attention to your ads if you don't already. You never know. Just go on every now and again, a couple times a day, refresh it. And you, you might be the first to get things like Chrome, Chrome's third or fourth album, which is amazing on... Uh, from Baker's Banquet. Love Chrome. If you don't know Chrome, they're noisy. They're a challenging listen, but worth it in the end. Um, of course, Helios Creed was the main guy in um, Chrome, and Helios Creed solo albums are great as well. Okay, I gotta hurry. I gotta hurry. Oh, Jesus. Thinking, speaking of that, in the same vein, um, you guys all saw me on Instagram post this. Thrift Store Find, Suicide's first album. But what's awesome about this is this cover was only released in Canada. Very first pressing on Basement Records. Um, who was it distributed by? By a Canadian label, 1977. The first, the cover you might be used to is just, it just says Suicide across it. Um, but this is the first Canadian pressing um, with this cover. And like I said, this cover only was in Canada. And it's in condition and this is going in my collection and i'm so happy to find this one uh another band like chrome that's a very challenging listen but ultimately very rewarding i say i'm not taking a drink between every album sorry okay anvil forged in fire their third album um i found yesterday actually um anvil though the band of the documentary that spawned every other band uh, or band that's in the in the gutter to make documentaries about themselves in hopes to make a comeback but um anvil i gotta be quick story so i gotta you know um steeplechase look at that what's the price on there uno dollar in the shrink this is a heavy psych band and that term gets used a lot, but it does apply to this band. On 
uh, Polydor, or sorry, Lady <laughs> Steeplechase. <laughs> okay, I'm getting this all mixed up, sorry. Um, Steeplechase, Lady Bright on Polydor. It's, uh, I bought it based on the cover at the thrift store. Uh, this is a whole other different thrift store, not that I normally go to. They put tags like that on there. A dollar. But it's in excellent condition, and it is a true heavy psych fuzzed album. And it, I just knew, and I just knew if I bought this, it would be something great. And you got to go with your gut sometimes. But what an amazing find! Um, really good band. I wish I, 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 I know I googled some more information on them, and I forget. But, but apart from that, you want to see some craziness? Well, once again on on Instagram, you just saw me post this at the thrift store. Camel. More progressive rock, um, Moon Madness, and uh, The Snow Goose. But what is odd about these, finding these albums at a thrift store is one thing, which is fantastical. These are pressings from Israel on DECA. DECA pressings from Israel. Who would have thought in Israel they would have pressed, well, DECA had distribution, but they pressed this in beautiful condition and you can see the back here it's uh oh you know what i'm full of shit oh god i'm embarrassed i i found a mike oldfield album from israel i found a copy of amadon these are from portugal god i was just okay before this i was just listening to uh, an israeli pressing of mike oldfield's amadon and somehow that stuck in my head these are Portuguese pressings. So who would have thought they would have had uh, distribution in Portugal? I'm not editing this out either. I do one take, and that is it. You guys know that. So fuck-ups. For those people who edit those out, the fuck-ups are sometimes the best part of the videos. Not in this case. But Camel. Two Portuguese pressings. I'm looking in the back, I'm like, that doesn't say Israel. It says Portugal. Anyways, actually decent pressings. So that was really nice to find. I, I have Snow Goose, and I'm not sure if I ever had Mood Madness. I, I might have. Um, a really nice first pressing copy of the band's first album. Um, these come in and out of my collection, and I end, end up selling them at thrift... Uh, not thrift store. Fuck. <sighs> Record fairs. And... Uh, this is one time this will be in my collection because I've been listening to a lot of the band lately. Um, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep that one. Boxer. Um, a lot of people might be familiar with the uh, the album cover of The Naked Girl. And there's a, uh, a, guy, a guy's arm with a boxing glove coming up to her crotch. And the girl's naked. And that's Boxer's first album, I think. And this is the third, third or fourth album. And that album is very collectible because of the cover. I go on eBay looking at it, and people pay stupid money for just the cover. Um, they're okay. What is this? This is a or a Sony Epic or Epic, not Sony Epic um, label. Um, they're okay. Boxer. They're okay. God, you can tell I haven't made a video a video in a while. I'm stumbling. Quite badly. Uh, this one I'm going to wait on. Uh, this one I'm going to wait on because it's pretty cool. Well, you know what? This is in the shrink and it's uh, it's a very, um, it, it's worth a few dollar. It's a CBC recording on Capitol Records and it's a um, Bossa Nova album, which I don't mind. I do like that Gilberto Getz album, that, that really nice Bossa Nova album. Everyone's familiar with that one, but I found this one in the shrink, and it's just a really great um, jazzy Bossa Nova album. There you go. The Kinks, Misfits, I found. I have not listened to this yet. So I can't re offer an opinion. Uh, I got a nice copy of Yes, which I don't need. I have the box set version, but uh, Fragile. But it came with a poster. I, I never knew it had a poster ever in it, but it has a poster in it. So um, I'm keeping the poster. The album's probably going to gonna go. Uh, Rare Earth Dreams Answers. I think it's their first album on um, Verve, on Verve Records. Rare Earth, look, look at, they look all psychedelic. It's a good album too, by the way. Um, 
why I'll just blow through a few albums here. Paul Schaefer, I've always been curious about this album. He made this when Letterman was the biggest, you know, when he was super big in like late 80s. This is like from 89. Um, Paul Schaefer made uh, this album, and you might see this in Delete Bins or something, but um, it's an okay album. I'm not going to show you that one because who cares? I got to go through these. Sorry. I got an Ian Tyson album, if you're Canadian, Ian Tyson for $2.99, and it's autographed. I thought that was kind of cool. Liam Wallace, if you want it, let me know. Uh, sorry. I'm just going to grab a midfall and show it to you. The Neville Brothers, uh, Yellow Moon. Very good album. What was this one? $2.99. There's store tag still on it. Good album by the Neville Brothers. This one I want to talk about really quickly. I bought this on a lark because it looked interesting. The band is called La Muter Death Race 2000. I don't know anything about it. It just looked interesting. I got it for a couple dollars, and it's insanely good garage hard rock. The singer's a bit much, but this is a really good album. If you see this or sample it, you might agree with me. Oh, my God. There's so much more. Muddy Waters, Hard Again. Found that at a thrift store between my last videos. Uh, George Stavos, um, Labyrinths on vanguard records very interesting weird psychedelic -y kind of record best of wilson pickett on that oh this is my favorite this is my favorite atlantic label i gotta show this to you is it oh yeah that's my favorite atlantic label the green blue and white one uh the best of wilson pickett i like wilson pickett i got some of his uh uh his uh, studio albums in my collection but a good best of, we'll, we'll, I'll never say no to. These ones I'm going to save for another time. Mississippi John Hurt, The Last Sessions, I found at a thrift store on Vanguard. Uh, the Beach Boys, Love You. It's better than you would think it is. It's pretty good 70s Beach Boys. Uh, do, 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 do. Harvey Mandel, um, Crystal Redentor on Phillips Records. It sounds like it looks. Some of you might know Harvey Mandel. He's in John Schofield. That might be it. Because, oh, you know what? Let's just knock some of these out just to get them. I can file them. Beatles, Sgt. Peppers, B-52s. This is an orange label, um, Sgt. Peppers, and this is a regular... Um, Warner Brothers records of B-52s, which I already have. Um, I'm not sure what else to show you, but you know what? This pile here I got here is going to be for another video. And it's a damn good pile, too. I just wanted to blow through a couple of quick ones to file them. Or maybe sell them. Who knows? Um, I want to say thank you for those who watch my videos. Don't... Just wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me get this out. Um, I want to say thank you. Um, I appreciate you watching my videos because there's a lot of vinyl videos out lately that are very, I'm not saying this to diss anyone, I promise you, but they're very clickbaity and there's only so many people out there to watch vinyl videos. It's, that's the fact. So, and it's very, um, enticing to click on certain videos by certain people. Um, and a lot of times it's style over substance and I hope, um, the feedback I get anyways is, is that a lot of people like my videos because it's, it's it's just what it is. No edits, no cuts. I say it like it is. I know my music. So when I, you know, when people are very um, flattering, it's very appreciated. When people send me stuff, when people say, I got this for you and they live in the States or Europe, do you want to buy this? Because I've been looking for it. I'm like, thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm not worthy. And um Anyone who clicks on my videos, I always say this, and it sounds like I'm pandering, but I'm not. It's very, very flattering, and thank you so much, everyone. Um, I'm kind of going to be back on making videos again once, you know, now that we've had that period of time of mourning, which I'll be mourning the rest of my life, but I'm kind of, I'm ready again to make some vinyl videos and some other kinds of videos, and the sale videos will be coming, trust me. i got to get to get to the shipping place, and I'm going to figure that shit out for you. But, um, yeah. Life's been busy, and I hope you've been safe, most uh, foremost, and mostly you've been safe, and your loved ones have been safe, 
And this has been Naz Nomad. Follow me on Instagram, N-A-Z-Z or Z-Z underscore Nomad. Um, please leave a comment, good or bad. Thumbs up, thumbs down, doesn't matter to me. It's all good. I love you all. So take care. Bye-bye.